So we've got Sword of Dominance with Shield Charge on Crit, and Weapon Techniques Inflict. Uh, this is not ideal yet. I want to replace the first primary stat with Weak Point with Shield Charge on Crit. Eventually, when I get the, that proper Blade of Conquest, which will allow me to spam Nova Technique no matter which sword I'm using. Then we're using Pendant of Lavas with crit chance, ailment duration, and all resistance, and one dead stat, the water resistance. Then we're using a Mithras Star with Mark of Fragility, Lion's Talisman, all resistance, and crit chance. Now, what we're doing here is, because Pendant of Lavas is one of the items that um, uh, it can roll not only Vitality, it can roll Might, it can roll Spirit. With items like that, the Masterwork trait is random. So though it is possible to get all resistance, all resistance on a Pendant of Lavas, the chances are about 3%. So like if, like, like one out of a hundred, something like that, so it, it, maybe two or three out of a hundred items will, will have double all resistance as a possibility. So that's going to be difficult to get your hands on. So what I did instead is I have crit chance upgraded and all resistance in the masterwork trait. And then I added all resistance on the Mithra star instead, because it's a lot easier to do that. If you get lucky with a vitality Mithras with these primaries that also happens to have all resistance as a secondary. So this is a bit tough to get uh, this item here as well. Then we've got Heavenly Reversal with double void damage, ailment power, and ailment duration. Uh, I'm using a full tanky boy Mark of the Red Armor, over health gained, upgraded, and some more all resistance. I did also just get a primal bead, so once I complete my quest, I'll be replacing this for the primal version. Uh, primal Plague Pennant Bender banner. And then we have got, well, let me show the shards real fast. We're using shard two and shard four for Nova Technique, which uh, works as sort of a debuff because it's applied directly on the enemy. It's not added to your base damage like you would assume because it says increases void damage, uh, but it's on the enemy. It's not in your base damage the way the regular math is calculated. So that's extremely, extremely strong. That's a sort of a direct multiplier for your damage. And then we're also using Way of the Endless. Uh, we're not worried about the uncharged heavy attacks. Just forget that's even part of the shard. We're looking at the second uh, second blip here. Where it says, whenever you curse an enemy while polarized, gain a void charge that grants 25% curse power, max 20 charges. So that's 500% curse power when you're at 20 charges. Extremely good. Now let's pop into the augments. We've got ailment power duration on a twilight bloom. Um, this is a pretty lucky roll. I would say there's about a 15% chance. 16.7% chance to get void damage in the masterwork trait for this item. So may take a few tries. <laughs> Uh, to get this. And then we've got Paradise with Ailment Duration and Weapon Technique Damage. A Rift with some Overhealth Gained. Now, uh, it is also possible, instead of running Mark of the Red Armor, to run Mikolai's Hail in this build. And then, in that case, you don't need Void Shell anymore, and which will free you up to use Force Barrier. So there are some options. There's a little bit of wiggle room in how you build it. It's a matter of preference, really, as long as most of the stats are, are similar. Um, but then back to Rift, we've got Overhealth Gained, All Resistance, Primal, a Primal Glamour, with Ailment Power, Overhealth Gained, and Might, which is feeding Void Shell. Got a Dauntless with Ailment Power and Might, also feeding Void Shell, with one dead stat, uh, ailment duration over that over health gained would be far better. We've got Iron Heart with void damage and weapon technique damage. 
uh, because I, I definitely needed the crit chance because this sword does not have Blessing of Luck. So that extra crit chance actually is extremely helpful. That puts me at 65% crit chance. Oh no, 61. Why did I think 5? Whatever. Neither here nor there. Over 60, which is which is good. It's a good number to be at. Um, and then, last but certainly not least, we have Anathema. Um, with void damage and all resistance. Now, I have another one with double void damage, but I prefer being at... 60 resistance across the board. Not dying is huge, especially being as I'm not using an Amulet of the Betrayer, I'm using Pendant of Lavas. So that 60 resistance across the board is huge when you're not using Betrayer. It's very helpful. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. This build can hit for 20, 23 million pretty easily with just one stack with one Northern Technique uh, when you're fully buffed. So it's pretty good. Uh, I can one-shot bosses on floor 10. So it's definitely definitely a very strong build. Uh, and it's, like I said, it's not even finished yet. When we get the proper Blade of Conquest for this build, it is going to shred. It is going to be absolutely insane. But yeah, that's Mobius for you. Thanks for watching. All right. So yeah, this is the build in a nutshell.